this is the world's oldest flying B-25. There's still quite a few B-25s that are still flying, but this is the world's oldest, turned 71 this year. The B-25 in general is most famous for the Doolittle Raid on Tokyo. In 1942, you know, we got attacked at Pearl Harbor in 1941, while in, in Later in, in mid-1942, uh, Jimmy Doolittle came up with this plan to load 16 of these aircraft onto an aircraft carrier, which they were never designed to do, and as a medium bomber to extend the range to get them closer to Japan. And what they did is they loaded the planes up. Each, each of them had a crew of five on them, 16 planes, so 80 guys took off on what was going to be basically a one-way mission for them. And uh, they knew that they were not going to be able to come back. It was sort of a one-way mission, so they knew that they would have to ditch the aircraft in the water or crash land them, which they did. So they hit their targets and they crash landed. And most of the, those men survived. Our foundation believes that by showing folks the airplanes of the period 1927 to 57, we can inspire by metaphor them in other fields of endeavor. It's not as if these kinds of planes will ever be the forefront of aviation again. However, in their time, there were spectacular uh, inventions and uh, examples. And that appreciation, we hope, will inspire the young people not only to study the history, but to find a passion in some other endeavor. It also gives us a chance to honor the veterans. We've had uh, entire complements of six people that were World War II crew members from bombers and uh, you can imagine helping them on board, get up the stairs at 92, 93 years old, some of them carrying their own oxygen with them, and uh, that's the uh, other part of the gratification, not just the young people, but the people who uh, flew these as young men and women.